Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from OGS Electronics and today we're going to be in our last installment of a Delta VFDE drive where we're going to be setting up the drive today in remote control using a MOP speed control which is two button speed control, basically up and down speed control and also we'll be setting up the drive to a run a multi-frequency setup. If by any chance, as usual, you missed out the last two videos where we set up the drive, commissioned the drive, by hacked the release it and did all the uh, business for commissioning that uh, and after that in the next video we did uh, two three wire control and uh, uh, used the remote uh, potentiometer do check out those video links in the description below and any other related videos that I think would benefit you in any possible way and also all the manuals that uh, comes with this drive are going to be in link in description below so without further ado let's get started so the first station we're going to be looking at on this video it will be our up and down I call it MLP control station where we're going to be using a two buttons to uh, uh, change our speed up and down and also we're going to have a run reverse and uh, run forward uh, switches for it as well so that's pretty much what the station's going to look like and before we get into the parameters, let me run you through the wiring the way we did wire this one up. As you can see, potentiometer is no longer there. So we have very, very basic uh, station in here. So we have a, uh, uh, a DCM uh, signal coming into the normally closed contact, which is our e-stop. And from there on is carry on as per supplying a power to all the switches where the M, M1 is going to be uh, run forwards, M2 is going to be run reverse. M3 is going to be speed up and M4 is going to be speed down. It's quite, it's quite straightforward, it's not, nothing too too crazy. So, uh, and this all goes in here as you can see corresponding to that. So, when it comes down to parameters, there are several things we need to do. And we're going to start first, we need to change a, uh, a 2, 2, uh, two zero, 0 And that one we need to change that to 0, which is basically digital keypad up and down or multifunction inputs up and down. So basically we'll be able to now control from here and from actual buttons as well. So we then that one. And that's pretty much just the one thing regarding when it comes down to sources, everything else is as we done in a previous video, remote control uh, for the remote control. If you haven't seen the last video guys, do check it out so you know where we at. So in the following, we need to assign the inputs uh, for our, uh, up and down buttons down there and let me found here's the page for us and up and down inputs are it's going to be our uh, three and four and as you can see down here six and uh, not no six and say one might say a ten and eleven those are the two we need to select and uh, whichever inputs you don't have to use the same inputs as I do maybe you sell one differently but I have assigned the three and the four which is going to be oop you're going to, oh, let's leave that. And that is going to be, which one is that? That is five. So as you can see, that's 10. And that is the 11. So those, that is the setting what we need to uh, remember when it comes down to setting up the art inputs. This is how we assigned our inputs. And there's a couple of ways the whole Shabam can be controlled. This is the this is the first drive I actually have work with that has a quite an extensive uh, number of options how the up and down of function could potentially work. So if you look at the parameter uh, 0207, as you can see, this is several ways how the you up and down buttons could work. It could work based on acceleration time, it could, it could work based on constant speed, which is 208, and, and it could be working on pulse unit based on 0208 as well. So what does that mean? So if you look at the 20208, uh, uh, is what kind of increments it will do. So uh, do play around. We're going to stick to this up and down key, in, and I'll show you in a minute how that works. So, but if you want like, a, a, I don't know, five hertz increment every time you push, uh, there is that option in there. Not all drives has it, so this one has it, which is a nice addition, which I like it a lot. So let me put a cover on and I will show you how that works. Here we are, so the cover is on. That's what it's gonna look like. So first thing, let's put in a, in, in a forward run. 
And let's click a button. As you can see, speed goes slow, up, 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 and then it just starts speeding up how fast. The longer you hold, the faster it's going to go up. And the same thing, the whole day, longer you hold, the faster it will go down. And that's pretty much this. It, it's for this uh, function. So then you're saying you can do for a reverse. As you can see, they lock each other out as well if you try to operate them at the same time. So yeah, so this is how you can really play with the buttons. So uh, and that's how a up and down uh, speed control uh, would work with the uh, up and down buttons. It's a really cool function to have. A lot of people use it because of a, uh, a, a, a functionality and, 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 and uh, ease of use. And another thing is because for this drive is because you have this incremental uh, function uh, possibility in here. That's quite a handy as well. So uh, one thing I could uh, not uh, see, can we, as you can see, this is the first drive as well. I've seen you are able to change the speed while it's off, which is cool. Interesting. So yeah, so this will, this pretty much gives you a good understanding for those up and down buttons. And do check out other functionalities, which I show in 0208. Uh, parameter uh, if you are looking for some form of a constant or one based on acceleration and deceleration uh, or uh, exact changes and things like that so do check them out those are functions uh, options and functions so uh, having done that let's crack on with multi frequency setup here we go so multi frequency station is wired in so uh, it's going to look like that and this station can really be operated in many different ways and i'm going to run you through some of them for every se uh, speed selection you're trying to do you will always need a run signal so no matter what you do trying to select you will need to make sure that the run is with it so i usually uh, you leave a run at zero frequency basically the run was classed as more or less as a first speed and in this drive it is classed as a, as, as a, what they call the, the main frequency source, and that can be for potentiometer, for buttons in here, adding a potentiometer in the bottom. You can add anything as soon as you put the run signal on. The, on that uh, functionality will be read from these sources, whatever you select in 02.00. Zero, uh, zero two, uh, zero, zero. Again, we already spoke about them. So I have selected that uh, this potentiometer is here. As you can see, I change frequency. If I put that in a run mode, I will be able to be reading that frequency from it. And as soon as I select any, any uh, uh, what's it called, the, the selected frequency, it will override the potentiometer and run that selected frequency. So when it comes down to wiring, as usual, we have an, uh, I keep forgetting the name of that, DCM. We have a DCM coming to our normally uh, our close contact, going through and sort of powers all the buttons where we have a uh, normally uh, open contact in here. The first one is going to be M1 for the uh, run signal. Uh, M2 is going to be for, for, not M2, M3. By the way, the M, uh, this guy in here, M2 is still, you can use a reverse signal if you wish to. And plus you have another one down there left over for if you want to put some jog or whatever else you want to put to it. But we are using a uh, M3 as uh, bit 1, M4 uh, as bit 2, and M5 as a bit uh, 3. So wh why do I say bit rather than speed? Because it is more or less a group of selections. If you look at the three numbers, different combinations of those numbers will be some form of a speed. So, and to explain that more or less how that works, there's a little diagram that Delta has uh, built for you to more or less understand what would be what and as you can see down there master frequency all of them will be off basically that would be classed as your ish first speed but in this in here by saying your first speed is only when the first first selection starts appearing as you can see you can use four selections uh, four bits we are using only three so we're not going to be able to achieve 15 speeds but you can do that if you wish to so 15 speeds is available if you put m6 as four and you can select 15 speeds and by the way all of these are by default zero so do make sure they are set in a group five every single parameter in group five as you can see up here in the diagram tells you what is what and it tells you as well as you can see for the speed one all of these must be off and that one be on speed two that m2 needs to be m4 needs to be on it's for speed three uh, these two guys need to be on and so on and on. Hopefully you guys are getting the gist. What does that mean? So it is all about 
combination of bits or combination of switches. So, and when it comes down to uh, uh, setup, for this drive, the multi multi uh, speed setup is is as default. So you do if you are doing this from the scratch, uh, all these uh, all four uh, speeds have been already assigned by default to uh, the three, four, five, and a six. So you don't really need to do anything except you want to. I don't know. Maybe you want to check. Yeah, because if you see now, yeah, quickly show you. You see now yeah, if you change the. Uh, your main uh, master frequency, you can have it from anywhere. So you can have buttons, as I said already. So that would pretty much allow you to do that. And, and you pretty much really are ready to go. So let me, uh, let me put the cover on and I will show you how that's working. So cover is on. So there we go. So that's the station. What it looks like. First thing you can do is if you put in the run mode, as you can see, the stop is flashing. It's pretty much, and it says I'm in the run mode. And you can use this potentiometer in here. Pretty much control your speed. So and that could be for external potentiometer as well or whatever. So that would be your uh, run uh, signal in here. Let's say you want to select the speed and you want to know what speed you're going to do. Just flip the switch and it will change to that uh, uh, selection of the speed. And as you can see in here, if I go two buttons together, that's effectively is my third speed actually. So these two together, as I showed you on the diagram already. So, and that would be my second speed, that would be my third speed. And if I turn these guys off, that would be my fourth speed rather than third. But you can literally have as many as you wish and have what sort of combinations and blah, blah. This way you can actually look at it and then you, when you put in the run mode, you can, I even as you can see, you, but you can keep flipping the switches whichever way you wish. That doesn't matter, it will still flip the dots as you can see. Uh, that's gone off because I can, I've got no selection anymore. So here we go. So that's pretty much is how this uh, process would work. Remember, these switches will always override your master frequency. So do uh, remember that. So in case you, yeah, you don't understand what is going on with it. So on that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll cover this drive. And I've hopefully I have, have gone through the most uh, used applications that uh, this drive could be used. Of course, there's tons and tons of more in this drive. A lot more to explore. But that could be possibly uh, some other day. But for the general use, for general applications, that should be sufficient enough for most applications. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Do like a video if you like the video, subscribe and comment below. For any questions and anything you want to uh, talk about, do comment them in the uh, comment section below and I'll answer them and as soon as I can. And of course, as usual, as accurate as I can. On that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.